You'll die at sea, your head rocked by the roaring waves, your body swaying in the water like a perforated boat. This is part of a poem written by Abdel Wahab Latinos for the deaths of thousands of migrants who made the world's deadliest crossing over the Mediterranean to Europe. As he wrote this, he knew he would have to make this journey himself, one where he would lose his life. Earlier last year, he left Sudan. As he's not here to tell us his story, we have to piece together his journey to Europe from his writing posts and accounts from friends. Abdel Wahab came from a poor family in South Darfur. He excelled academically and graduated top of his class from the University of Khartoum. Over the past few years, he grew thousands of devoted fans after publishing poems and short stories on his social media and blog. This is Barai, a close friend of Abdel Wahab's. Abdel Wahab couldn't find steady work in Sudan, which was still reeling from recent violent civil unrest. Like so many other migrants, Abdel Wahab made the trip up to Libya in hopes of finding a safe passage to Europe in order to seek out a better life. In Libya, migrants are frequently subjected to human rights abuses. When Abdel Wahab arrived there, he found himself in the dangerous area of Bani Walid where migrants are regularly kidnapped and held for ransom. He made some money off small jobs in Benghazi. Less than 1% of migrants are legally resettled out of Libya, leading many desperate people to make the treacherous journey over the Mediterranean towards Malta or Italy. And due to the COVID-19 pandemic, more people making this crossing have been intercepted and taken back to Libya. And this year alone, almost so far, almost 9,000 people have been returned so far or disembarked in Libya. So, so really people are trying to cross, um, I mean, they're trying to cross to, uh, to Italy because they really, or Malta, because they really see, see no other way um, out, uh, out of Libya. With resettlement suspended due to the COVID-19 pandemic, Abdel Wahab headed to Tripoli and organized to board a white rubber boat. On the 15th of August, he set out for Europe. Over the next six hours, Alarm Phone contacted the Maltese, Libyan, Italian and Tunisian Coast Guards multiple times. Calls were ignored, no boats were sent, no rescues were initiated. The people who survived, they weren't saved, uh, had it been for the efforts of some um, foreign fishermen who happened to be passing there and helped them much later after they had stayed in the middle of the water for hours. These are the words of the survivors, many of whom are in detention in Libya. Because European leaders are leaving this kind of this repetition of crises 
in the Mediterranean that people have a certain fatigue with the issue and they're not sure what ha they don't know that the, that solutions exist. So we're, what we're really asking for is to avoid all these all these crises. Europe will have to accept responsibility for the migrants and refugees that are coming to to its shore. We can't close our close our eyes to this problem. Refugees and migrants are in movement all across the world, and and every country needs to um, accept and share responsibility for these people. Abdel Wahab leaves behind many loved ones, as well as many fans of his work and a vast collection of writing. In his writing, he calls for us to pay attention to the plight of refugees and reminds us all what it means to be human. There's no shame in dying young, shy of your 30th birthday. There's no shame in leaving early, none at all. But perhaps there is if you die alone, without a woman. She's calling you. Come to me. I have plenty of room. Let me wash the stains of misery off your soul. <laughs>